Hey, so I know I'm live on Facebook, but I'll be downloading this and sharing this on TikTok, so in other places. For those of you that are just getting the beginning of this video, head on over to my Facebook, Candace Marie Divinatrix, or Temple of Frolic, or my YouTube, and you can get the full video and the full Candace and Temple of Frolic experience with my personal life and my professional life, because I just put myself out there like that. And this is going to be one of those personal videos right now. Um emotional um whoo so i am on quite the journey you know processing like now i'm not going to michigan now i'm up in the air and i'm staying in new hampshire but for how long i don't know i'm open i'm still looking for a new home and just you know this all just happened you know I thought I was moving to Michigan and like I just you know found out two days ago that that wasn't happening and um I was doing really good with processing that and but it hadn't really hit me, and I knew it hadn't hit me yet, you know, I knew I'm like, you know, I'm gonna have to cry and grieve, like, you know, at first I was just, um, you know, in my, oops, let me make sure I'm in here, you know, just really in my spiritual process and really trying to stay spiritual and high vibe and see the good and ugh. but <laughs> I need time to feel and I need time to grieve and I need time to process and it comes when it comes it happens when it happens I try to create containers for myself and schedule myself and keep myself in order and I don't know about you but this human doesn't work like that <laughs> I do my best to create containers for everything and take really good care of myself so that I can show up in all these other ways professionally and not let all my stuff be in the way um and so that's kind of what's happened over in between when I first found out a couple days ago and today I've just been like plugging away and um I felt it I've cried I've been angry I've definitely felt and expressed and emoted and processed um but oh it's still very fresh and I'm still feeling very sensitive and it's bringing up a lot um around myself my life like just what is what are my storylines emotionally and spiritually um you know what's what's in the way um really just trying to take emotional and spiritual responsibility for these challenging experiences and also see the beauty and the gift in these challenging experiences <laughs> um which is like it, it requires some you know balance and um Today, what I'm really feeling is like, no matter where I'm going, no matter when, where, like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know when that's going to happen. I know I want to move and I need to move. And I know I have certain specifics and desires around this move. 
Um, but the big reality that's hitting me today is that I need community and connections now. Not when, when I get to wherever I'm going and wherever that is. Like, I've been hesitant and paused, like, local connecting and local relating. And, you know, I'm still kind of, like, I'm scared, you know, because I don't know if I'm staying here. Um, and so I'm going to be really open and honest with anybody that I relate to, like, and that's the thing, like, I will always be coming back to New England and I really want like those kind of soul connections that geography doesn't, you know, when me moving isn't going to stop or who knows, maybe meeting someone locally and finding a new home locally. I don't know. You know, I'm open to staying local. I'm open to moving out of the area. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm, uh, but I'm definitely like a little torn right now and feeling like uh, my trauma body has been awakened a little bit. Um, around the specificity of the experiences and because of my own personal life and my personal stories um, and being left open and vulnerable with being blind and relying on someone and feeling really vulnerable um, taking the time to get really clear on what my needs are um, in relationships and in the new home um, emotionally, spiritually, logistically, um, yeah. Whew. So I just needed to let myself emote and feel and be seen because I've been kind of laying low, um, and uh, I'm not feeling ready to really uh, be seen in my emotions around everything going on. Um, oh, as there's so much good going on, you know, um, especially with my new colleague, assistant, and friend, Carezza, and Fun Frolicking Friday, and. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I'm hesitant to commit. I'm having around commitment, like relationally, personally, or professionally. I'm hesitant to make any commitments right now because I'm scared of my actual realistic availability and with my life being so up in the air and... You know, if an, another opportunity comes my way to move and who knows when that comes and who knows where that will be because I'm that open. Um, yeah, hesitant, you know, I feel like I won't be able to follow through um, with commitments personally or professionally. And... Um, <sighs> yeah, so just processing, feeling, um, doing my own a 
emotional processing and feeling work. Um, and for me, um, yeah, I, I did some journaling earlier, but I can't flow anymore as a blind person with writing. Um, it just doesn't work. Um, this is doing these videos is where I flow best. And as someone who's been having, I've had a diary since as little as I can recall back, I've been a writer. I have, I have a whole big bin of journals and writing dating back to my beginning stages of writing, which is actually an interesting, I don't know if I've shared this, I don't know if you're watching this, Carissa, but, or anyone else, like, I want to publish my journals. Um, there is some funny and fucked up shit in there, but even the fucked up shit I see is funny. Some of it, it it's sad. Uh, some of it's very emotional. Some of it can be very triggering and traumatizing, like, I was reading my journals from when I was 14, and well, someone was reading it for me, uh, my ex-partner, and they were saying how it's like, it's like porn, you know, and it's like, that's, you're 14 years old, like, that's, that's kind of, you know, it feels kind of fucked up, um, and the things that I was doing, um, yeah, so, that's kind of, uh, that brings me back to my trauma body that has been reactivated. Um, I have a, a pretty wild history of experiences. A lot of it's documented. <laughs> some of it is documented in there, some of it's documented up here. And all of it's documented in the ethers, and um, if you really knew me, and this is something I, I get hesitant to talk about publicly because I'm scared of what people think of me, or am I going to get in trouble, or if, if everybody really knew this, like, blah, 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 you know, the story is my head. But the fact that I have a criminal record, um, and there's things out there about me that I didn't choose to put out there and that I don't have choice around. <laughs> um, the newspaper articles and, um, you know, when, uh, yeah, things happened and things ended up in the paper and uh, I did you know when I was in the regular working world I uh, did what I had to do to expunge or annul my criminal record so like it doesn't show up on a basic Corey background check but as you know you can find anything now so <laughs> that's something that you know, even though I went through all that to get it expunged or annulled, like, now with the internet and all this, like, doesn't matter, you know? <sighs> so, oh, I have a headache. I've been dealing with a headache a lot, too, these last three, four days. I don't know if I was getting a head cold or coming down with something. I don't know. I don't, like feel super super sick or symptomatic in any other ways it's just been this headache but it moves around my head um if you have any ideas please do let me know because I'm definitely starting to get like really curious like what's going on is it emotional is it psychic is it stress related is it physical is it what is it um <sighs> so, in essence, I've been dealing with what some people would say is chronic pain, um, but 
I don't like to to give it like that, you know, because I get breaks throughout the day. <laughs> but it has been pretty chronic. Um, and so that's another reason why I've been kind of laying low. Um, just been in pretty heavy self-care mode um, and needing more space and time from technology and um, having to show up in any way. a lot though <laughs> I did not plan on sharing everything I shared and now I'm having all those feelings of oh my god I can't believe I just shared all that and I wish I didn't share it and maybe I shouldn't share this video out anywhere maybe I should just delete it la 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 <sighs> eh. okay au revoir <laughs> I I would like to mm. No, I'm not going. Okay, bye. <laughs>